Water is a very dirty thing. See, we went in there. First thing we done, we took all the <coughs> women and children off the farms and towns, put them in compounds, I think they call them. Wire fences, high up. They were lived in the tents inside there, and all the men were outside. That was the first year. The second year, we took all the cattle, or all the sheep. Anything in the live line was either killed or taken. Even though nearly a century had passed, George remembered how the Boers treated British prisoners and how the soldiers retaliated. The Boers, anyway, if they caught some men, they would hold them overnight <coughs> and strip them in the morning, take all the clothes off them and their shoes and make them walk home, back, back to their own barracks in the sun. Blister them all over. And the feet, some of the men never got, a, never got good feet after it. Did that make you angry? Yeah. And one of them I knew had done it anyway. I knew he, he, he sent two of our troops back. And we caught him sometime later. <laughs> and he, he laughed about it. I said, well, we're going to, I'm going to give you a little treat right now, too. I'm going to take you up where the, where the anthills are and peg you down on the ground and let them break a few anthills and put some syrup on you. And then the ants are pretty like, you'll have thousands of ants for company on your body, walking around. i done it too. That's just the trouble with the war. You see some of your pals being killed, you get mad yourself anyway and probably get killed too.